So let me show you what has happened to my green fuel line on my diesel heater that I installed in my off-grid workshop. I installed it at the end of the uh, winter season, early this spring, and now we're in fall, just about to get to winter. And I just want to get this prepped up and ready to go so that it's ready when the cold weather hits. The way I've installed this with this green fuel line, you can see coming from underneath the shed, connects to the heater, of course, that's in the floor of the uh, off-grid workshop. And I just drilled a hole in the top of this fuel container, ran the green line down into the bottom, and put a heavy clunk fitting on the end of that fuel line so it would hang into the bottom of the container and, and draw the fuel from the bottom. And this has just been sitting out here this summer. I don't know if it's incompatibility with the fuel line and the diesel, but the clunk has just completely broken off of this. I've seen and read a lot of things about this cheap green fuel line that comes with these diesel heaters, and they say not to use it. However, I did use it successfully when I installed it. It seemed to work fine and the heater operated okay. But over time, and this is a four month, five month period of time, it just gets brittle and it cracked and just broke off all on its own. I came out here and this was just sitting on the ground. I just stuck it in the hole here to keep the uh, moisture out of the tank or water if it rained. So I'm going to redo that, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pickup into the bottom of this tank the way it's designed to be installed in the tank so I don't have the line going down through. And then I got a new fuel line set, and I'll show that to you here shortly, and I'll leave you a link in the description. I just picked it up off of Amazon for like $11 or $12, and I think it's going to be the reasonable solution from what I've read on this diesel heater fuel line issue and I'm just going to run it underneath with the uh, outlet and then it'll just go directly underneath the uh, workshop and up into the heater instead of having this extra line dangling around up here so let me get this tank pulled off of here of course I've got to dump the fuel out and hopefully dump it out without dropping <laughs> the clunk that's in the bottom of this tank into the uh, fuel can Anyway, we'll get that done, and then we'll get started on replacing this green fuel line for this diesel heater with a, uh, a more durable solution and what I think is a better fuel line. So I think what that dark blob is in the bottom of this tank is a melted green fuel line. I think the diesel fuel has reacted with it and just melted it into a blob into the bottom of this tank. So I poured a little bit of gasoline, regular gasoline in there and it seems to be eating it away and dissolving it. And I'll be able to slosh that around and get that cleaned out. A couple of rinses with some regular gasoline so in the meantime I'm going to let that sit and let the gasoline do its do its job on dissolving that melted rubber that's in the bottom of this thing melted green fuel line let that sit and then I'm going to go inside the off-grid workshop let's go ahead and head in there got a bench that I built for the off-grid workshop and I'm going to pull this diesel heater out just four screws so I can pull it up and access the fuel line on the bottom of it to be able to replace it with the new fuel line so let's go into the other shop and I'll show you the fuel line kit that I got for this and I'll be using to replace that green fuel line for this Chinese diesel heater Here's the fuel line kit that I purchased. And this has, I, I just got this off Amazon. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to do this to your diesel heater. 
and uh, it was only like uh, 11 or 12 bucks I don't remember the length but this is a hard harder fuel line I don't know exactly what it's made out of but it's supposed to be a much better fuel line than this green stuff here's a sample of the green that came with the diesel heater that I purchased this is a much larger diameter inner diameter than this uh, hard plastic white and this this green hose has a little bit of a flex to it this fuel line or this white fuel line this upgraded kit stuff is is just really it doesn't expand it's hard and it's supposed to work much better with the pulsating fuel pumps that these diesel heaters use but it comes with a, I don't know a couple different lengths it seems to be the same stuff maybe they just threw in a package of extra they had laying around or something and then several hoses and hose clamps these hose clamps appear to be better than the ones that came in the kit these are actually tightened with a bolt pinches down on the tubing pinches down on this which slips over the top of the replacement fuel line so you put that on there clamp it down and then you can connect it to the to the heater itself the diesel heater to the fuel pump to the fuel filter and that sort of thing so they gave you I think five or six of these little pieces of rubber fuel line five pieces of that and I don't know maybe maybe ten of these decent looking uh, hose clamps so that's what I'm going to replace it with so I'm going to go out there and remove the uh, diesel heater from the floor of the off-grid workshop so I can get to that fuel line, we'll start replacing it with this. So I've got the tank remounted, cleaned up, replumbed with the new clear upgraded fuel line kit. Got rid of all that crummy green fuel line for this diesel heater. 
and we're ready to prime it and fire it up and see if it works. So let's go inside and check that out. Let's see if I can remember how to operate this thing. All right, the first thing I want to do is put this on the mountain setting by <clears throat> these two buttons. All right, we're in the uh, high altitude, high elevation mode. And if I remember right, I press the up and down arrows at the same time to prime. Now I don't have but maybe two, two or three feet of fuel line to prime, so this won't take very long. I'm just going to count to about ten. So I don't over prime it. Hopefully I didn't but I could hear the pump going. So let's run it through this start sequence and see what happens. sounds and looks like it's ramping up. A little smoke, a little steam coming out of there. Let's go see what it's like inside. Oh yeah, we got some warm air now. Glow plug is off. I have it on the high setting. Starting to pick up more heat. I'm only going to let this run for maybe five minutes just to get up to temperature and then I'll shut it down. So it looks like I'm in good shape with that new getting rid of that green fuel line for this diesel heater, replacing it with a upgraded fuel line kit. Again, I'll leave those links in the description for the kit that I used. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps somebody out. And I would highly recommend if you get one of these diesel heaters. This one happens to be a Vever or Vever 5000 or 5 kilowatt. 12 volt. Good heat coming out of there now. I recommend that you don't use the green fuel line if that's what it comes with. Get yourself one of those upgraded fuel line kits off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for the one I used. Click on the video on the screen now if you'd like to check out a couple of other videos I made about this uh, Vever diesel heater and we'll see you over there.